On the first assault, Bordillon and Evans used the closed circuit equipment. This was more complicated and less reliable, but gave oxygen at above sea level pressure. Their oxygen consumption was two and a quarter litres a minute above the coal, and they climbed the first 1,500 feet above the coal at 900 feet an hour, an alpine performance for these conditions. In 1952, Lambert and Tensing, without oxygen, had managed only 250 feet per hour over the same ground. When Bordillon and Evans got back to the cull, having climbed 3,000 feet in a day, they were profoundly exhausted. The effects of going off oxygen were interesting. Sudden failure caused temporary breathlessness and in two cases incontinence. Slow failure was apt to pass unnoticed. No symptoms were noticed if the climber rested before taking his set off. Experimentally, oxygen caused a large drop in ventilation and rise in CO2 tension during exercise, but little change at rest. <laughs>